Yo, what up? It's your boy Maul from Beats, and I will be showing you guys how I use other music apps in Beatmaker. There's two different ways on how I use apps in Beatmaker. This is by request, uh, so let's get into it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up a new session, all right? So, yes. And then you come to your add instrument page, and of course you see your drums, keyboard, audio, track, audio apps, and sound store. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on audio apps. And this option is to enter audio app, which allows you to use the app within Beatmaker. All right, so let me just open up the ARP Odyssey. As you can see, we have a track already made. It's the Odyssey. And then something that I like to do, I always go open up another empty keyboard, which allows me to play it here. So I'm able to trigger the app that I just opened with the keyboard within Beatmaker. So you just open up the app, right? And then I'm gonna go back to Beatmaker, go back to my keyboard. And you can see that now I'm using the Korg ARP Odyssey in Beatmaker. It just opened up like another audio track. And just to explain a little more uh, why I like to open up a, a keyboard within Beatmaker is one, if I don't have my MIDI controller, I have to, I can just play the keys here. And then another reason I like to do this is because what I like to do, I like to record the MIDI part of the melody first versus record the straight audio. What I would do in that case, I will unarm the app that we open up. I would unarm the Odyssey app. And then I will go to the keyboard and I will start playing. All right, so just say, for instance, that's my melody. Go back, put it in loop mode. All right, and if it's the way I want it, then I go back and arm the Odyssey app. Then I will record it that way. So, and this is what you have. So what it did, I just recorded the MIDI part that I played. And and I do this because I'm not a fluent piano, I'm not a fluent piano, a, fu a fluent piano player. So it just makes it easy for me to maybe edit and, you know, modify or, you know, uh, sometimes I go into the MIDI, I layer the notes, you know. So, but if, if you're a fluent player, you might not need to take that route. In my case, I do. And it works, and it works fine for me. So that's one way to open up an app in Beatmaker. The second way to open up an app is use an audio bus. So I'm going to hit audio bus here. And audio bus, for those that may not be familiar, uh, audio bus works like uh, rewire that's in reasons. Uh, if, if For those that may be familiar with uh, propeller head reasons, they have the, re the rewire option in there where you're able to open up reasons and open up another DAW and slave that DAW into reasons. Well, audio bus is similar to that. So what I would do, I will go open up. Let's just open up another app. I'm open up the, Metro, the uh, Mellotronics app. I click on it, wait for it to open. All right, boom, we good there. Then I will go. Now this the second the second plus here. You have you have the first you have this first box, then you have the second box, then you have the third box. The second box is if you want to add any effects in there. Uh, let's just. Let me just open up an effect. So what happens in that case, you have the Mellotronics, you have the Mellotron running through the effects, which the effects will run through Beatmaker. And I will show you guys that in a few minutes. 
So you click on it just to open it up. And I'm going to just use this for the sake of, you know, time or whatever. So I'm going to go back to Audio Bus, and then I'm going to hit the third plus button and open up Beatmaker. Open it up and see what happens if you notice it, it brought in an Audio Bus channel. And then I can use the same keyboard that I opened up earlier. I have a lot of people that DM me and ask me, well, Marv, man, uh, for some reason I have, uh, when I'm using an, one instrument, I have another instrument that may be bleeding through. Just going to close this app and, and it sounds funny because I'm running it through this guitar reverb. So let's just say, fans. Let's just let's just say that we're not going to use just re, the uh, the reverb. So I'll go back to Audio Bus, and I will hit this off button, which should cut the effect off. Now we should just be able to hear the Mellotron. All right. Well, what I did, I went I went into Audio Bus, and I just removed the. Uh, the effect all together and you know that 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 effect and i will show you guys that in a few minutes a few minutes uh some apps that i use and i will explain what that what that app is but now you will hear that i have this mellotron running through audio bus and the same process and the same procedure what i would do i will unarm the audio bus channel and record the MIDI first, and then then and then I will go back. If I once I have the, have have it the way I want it, I will go back and record the audio wave of it. So that's how you use Audio Bus, and you can go and add on different instruments. I have never really got into adding on other instruments other than using one at a time, but it looked like this Audio Bus three. You can now add on different instruments and they would feed into Beatmaker or whatever DAW that you're using. Uh, but I normally just tend to use that, you know, one instrument at a time. Try not to get all uh, experimental, especially when I'm trying to work to get, get something popping off. Uh, so that's Audio Bus. So I showed you guys the two ways on how to open up other music apps within Beatmaker. You have the Enter Audio App option and you have the Audio Bus option. All right, before we get out of here, I'm gonna just show you guys some of my main apps that I use. Of course, you see Beatmaker 2 there. We have Beatmaker 3, which I'm beta testing. Don't get mad, <laughs> it'll be out shortly, but I am uh, beta testing Beatmaker 3. That's Beatmaker 3 there. I'm going to close that up. Then I, I have Cubase. Cubase is uh, it's a dope app these coming up months. I'm going to be using a lot more Cubase. Just really getting familiar with it. I have used it to record vocals and stuff in it. I actually will use Cubase to edit all of my podcast interviews. So uh, it's very dope. Cubases. I hope I wasn't saying Cubase. But Cubase is by Steinberg. Really dope app. Sample Tank is a necessity app. Reason I say Sample Tank, because Sample Tank, you have a variety of instruments in it. Um, you have rows, you have organs, you have your strings, you got horns, you got guitars, you got pianos, you got drums. You got some choirs, some, uh, con some percussions. Uh, you, just, you got a variety of stuff. That's if you're a, a mobile producer on a budget and you can't at the at the moment buy all of those different apps. I highly recommend that you buy this app. And then the dope thing about it, you can go in to the store and you can buy add-on additional sounds. So sample tank sample tank is a must-have uh instrument, especially because of the variety of sounds that they have in it. They even have some nice scents in there. Uh, another app, another one of my favorite apps is this Galeo organ. This has to be my number two apps that I use uh, for the simple fact that it is, it really sounds like a real B3.
The dope thing about it is you can actually you can actually learn these these draw bridges depending on what kind of MIDI controller you have. It, you can use the faders on your MIDI controller to control the draw boards. And you know, uh, I I know a lot of dudes that get busy in it. I, I like it because you know it's it's it just really sounds like a real B3. You know, on an app. In the app and on the iPads, it's crazy. So the Galileo organ is my second app. I would have to say my third app will be the I Mini Moog. The I Mini Moog is my third favorite app. Actually, it was I'm and I'm giving you guys these apps prior to how I bought them in order. I bought the Sample Take first. Uh, then I bought no, I bought the Galileo first. I bought this app second and I bought the sample tank third. So this is this would be my second app if I'm gonna go in order. This is gonna be my second app, second favorite app. The iMini Moog. I have the VST on my on my laptop, and I have to tell you that Arteria did a great job putting this app together. A lot of the presets sounds just like the VST that I have on my computer. So definitely an app that I would recommend. The fourth app would have to be the Propeller Head Thor. The Propeller Head Thor would be the fourth app. And of course, Propeller Head created the Thor app. I would have thought they would have did a little more, but they did the Thor app, and I guess that was a wrap. Maybe they have something in the future. I don't know. But that is like my fourth app, my fourth app. Uh, another app that I think is really dope is this Poison 202 app. The Poison 202 app is a, it's an app just full of a whole bunch of old school scents. Uh, it's just a dope app. You can create your own stuff in it by Jim Audio. The Poison 202, another great app that you should have in your arsenal. I love the the iElectric by IK Media. They have some real authentic sounding uh, road keys in here. And you have a variety of stuff that you can buy, that you can purchase. You know what I'm saying? You All of these old school uh, sounding keyboards in here. You know what I'm saying? You can buy them. They got clavinets in here. You know what I'm saying? Also, the iGrand Piano is another dope piano app. Now, I did buy all of these pianos here. You got, you got a variety. You got pianos and strings together. You got the Hollywood pianos. Um, you got har harpist chords in here. You just got a whole bunch of stuff, a variety of keyboards in here, man. The quality of a lot of these apps are really great, too. You know, it, you, you'd be surprised, you know, the sound that are coming out of these apps, but they are unbelievable. Let me just, let me show you this real quick. This, this particular, particular app, app here is called <laughs> the Tone Stack. I'm going to close it up. Because I'm getting some feedback. It's called a Tone Stack by Yonak. It's a guitar rig app where they have different effects in it for guitars and bass. Um, and man, it's just something if you want to use to just man create a whole different sound and stuff. I use it a lot, and uh, I do highly recommend it. Uh, you got the Mellotron if you want if you want that me that old school Mellotron sound, the Mellotronics. M3000 HD is another good app. The string assembles, these Alina strings, uh, that's another dope app. I use that a lot, especially when I'm making like, you know, if I'm making like a West Coast sound, it just got that old school G-Funk sound. And it's a string instrument. You know, it's a string instrument that was real popular back in the 70s. A lot of stuff that Barney Worrell did with Parliament Funkadelic. He used it. He used the string instrument a lot. A lot of Ohio players used the same instrument. Uh, it was a very popular instrument in the 70s. So that's another 
app that I like as well, the Elena Strings. I just picked up the Model 15, and I have to say, it's turning out to be one of my favorite apps as well. Uh, you can really get creative, you know, for all the gearheads and the nerds, you know what I'm saying? You can really, you know, create some serious sounds, you know, with this joint. I just, I got it maybe, maybe about two, three weeks ago, but I'm definitely going to get into it. And, to, and using it with some sound and design and ideas that I'm going to be working on. So the Model 15 by Moog is another dope app. So that's some of my favorite apps. Somebody asked me a question on, on Instagram, on IG Live. Asked me, you know, how much money do I think I spend on apps versus uh, on my computer? <laughs> I said much less than I've purchased on my computer. You know, I, I'll have to say maybe all the apps that I have was probably maybe under, but everything I have, and this is not even all the stuff that I have, you know, just some apps that I don't, that I've purchased that I don't use, but I can say, I can safely say that it's been under 300 bucks uh, with all these apps that I have. So it's definitely cost efficient and they're professional dope apps. So yeah, that's my setup and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh i hope you guys uh learned on how i use other apps into beatmaker between the into audio app option or audio bus all right uh if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about please leave a comment below give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a thumbs down if you didn't Either way, it's all good. Don't forget, Producerville Tees. Go pick your Producerville Tee up, man. Join the movement. I will have the link in the description. Cop your tee. Become a part of our community, Producerville. Also, if you haven't picked up my drum kits, the Marvelous Breaks 1 and 2, you can go pick those up over at Machine Masters right now. All right? You guys have a great weekend. Have a good memorial holiday. And I'll see you guys next time. Grace and peace.